Can you tell them we just want to know why they think it's acceptable to invade a Prime Minister's private home? I'm Ben from GB News. GB News, thank yeah. you. Is, is Will or Reba like here? Uh, not really. I'm looking for Will or Reba or whoever, whoever, whoever's idea that was to invade Rishi Sunak's house. Hello, Reba. How are you doing? Thanks yeah, for, uh, for having us. Was that your idea to invade Well, you weren't Rishi's... invited, first of all. We weren't uh, invited? No, you weren't. Oh, how answer. ironic. Uh, you, were you invited to Rishi Sunak's house this morning? Uh, he's the Prime Minister of the country. I'm just going to make myself a cup of tea, if that's all right. Uh, Who thinks Sunak's house invasion was a good idea? Anyone? What team do you guys work in? Are you press? Marketing? Who, who's the giga brain that invented that idea today? And also, why don't you do it in China? Go to President Xi Ping's house. Do you think you get the same reception? No? No answers. Nothing to say, just smirks. Just sullen smirks. You're paid 100 grand a year for ideas like that. Are you going to apologise for, for what you've done what today? What should I apologise for? For turning up at uh, not just a Prime Minister's a house, a, pro a private man's home it where he lives with his family. It doesn't you matter. Let me speak, Does it? I will answer your speak. Question. Yeah. Defend it. Yeah, it was a peaceful protest, and the Prime Minister has allowed hundreds of new oil and gas licenses. So you think yeah. it's justified? turning up to a man's private home where he lives with his family because he's approved oil and gas licences. He wasn't there. That was a matter of national news. We checked before going. We made sure there was nobody there. It was planned with utmost care, with care for security. He wasn't there. We knocked on the door. First, there was no answer. He knocks but on the door, so he jumps on his roof. Is that right? We knocked on the door to identify who we were. Are you going to apologise? No, I'm not going to apologise. We held him to account for a decision that he has backed, which is a disastrous decision. Do you know what percent of global emissions the UK is responsible for? Um, you must do. You're paid 100, 100k a year, so you must know. I mean, it's around 1%, 2%. Right, OK. So why aren't you going to China, to Xi Ping's palace, and an doing this? We have an enormous campaigning organisation in China. Greenpeace are really present in China. We do tonnes of work there. Do some research. Aren't you a bunch of hypocrites? Is that right? Is that what's going why? on there? Why? What's happened now? Yeah, what's <laughs> well, why, why would that come up? Because you're, you're choosing to make a point here in the UK that somehow this country is doing not doing uh, its fair share I to reduce emissions. The news was really into painting the UK as a global leader. The UK has a massive... It is on carbon emissions. It's a massive... 40% 40, 40 reduction over the past two decades that you guys think is acceptable. Yeah, and you guys think that. it's acceptable to invade a private man's family home, which is disgusting. Which, which was there. empty. 